that you're looking to build? Man, um, a lot of time and energy, intentionality, um, a lot of, um, I mean, just giving guys the opportunity to share their hearts and what's important to them and us as a staff sharing our hearts and what's important to us and, and linking, linking hearts. And when you, cause when you get people, guys caring about each other, um, you can, it's easier to move forward. And what are your immediate priorities here in the preseason? Well, right now my priorities go on vacation because it's been one heck of a summer. Um, <laughs> I mean, I, I, I was very thankful. Uh, guys, we had our last workout today. It was our best workout um, and uh, very excited about uh, everybody getting to go home for a little bit, get a little rest and then come back and um, start start building towards you know, a great season. Thanks, Coach. I appreciate it. No problem, Michael. Uh, next question to Kellis. Yeah, Jerome, thanks for doing this. Um, I remember talking on the catbacker circuit. Back then, you didn't quite know what these guys were going to be capable of yet. Now that you've seen them on the court, do you have a better idea? Yeah, uh, we're, we're, we got some super competitive guys who care about winning and uh they they care about each other and so um you know i i'm i'm excited about what we have and what's going to happen moving forward can you walk me through how you uh you know stumbled upon some of the the latest transfers you got um how, how you built relationships with them so quickly and what you like about them um anyone in particular um desi maybe uh man des like he was just sitting there a lot of people didn't realize that he could graduate and uh, you know, we did our homework on him and uh, knew that he graduated. We played against him in the elite eight game uh, when I was at Baylor uh, to go to the final four. And he, he didn't shoot it well, but he had like five assists that game. He had the ability, you know, to get in the paint and make good plays. I knew he was a tough kid and he's a winner, you know, won two state championships, went undefeated one season in the state of Arkansas. And so, um, I have relationships in Arkansas, and so it was really easy to connect the dots on that one. And he uh, did he help you uh, find out about Bebe too? No, he's actually surprised about Bebe. Um, you know, somebody else actually called us about Bebe. I actually recruited one of Bebe's high school teammates, um, and they both lived in the same house, and so um, had some relationship with Bebe ahead of time. Okay. Um, what, what do you think this team, this group is capable of once you, once you get them, you know, through, through a full, full camp and preseason? Man, I, 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 don't, I can't predict what we're capable of, but uh, I, I do know that we're going to play extremely hard. We're going to play together and we're going to be fun to watch. All right. Thank you. Uh, next question to uh, Tim Fitzgerald. Yeah, we hope. Um, Hey, uh, coach, my mic's working today. That's good. Um, it looks like you're a, a sugar with the medicine kind of guy. I've seen karaoke and Jenga and a water balloon fight. How important are those activities to kind of building a team cohesiveness? Oh, man, that, everything is, is very intentional and very important. Um, our guys, it, you know, we everybody preaches family and, you know, family you know, does a lot of things. And it's, you know, if we only time we spend time together is in the gym, then we're not a family. And I, I want the guys to feel very comfortable around me and the whole staff and see us as human beings and understand that we love them and we care about them. And uh, when you spend that kind of time with them and you, you show your heart to them off the court, then um, it, you earn the right to hold them accountable on the court. And so, you know, they, 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 they never question whether we love them, right? That, that, that won't be a question. And, um, and, you know, maybe you have to give the message to, you said, the, you know, there's two parts to this. Some people you have to give the message a different way. And the only way you can learn how to best communicate with your guys is to spend time with them. And, you know, that's been, very important to our staff and I mean that's just this is how I've always wanted to be you know I mean dinners at my house dinners at the coach's house 
games, you know, playing really, really hard, working really, really hard, but understanding that, you know, we're all in it together. You are continuing to recruit for 22 while recruiting for 23 while getting ready for vacation and everything else that goes into building a program. Um, how, how loaded are you right now with stuff to do? Right now, I, I'm, the goal was to be 12 and two. And um, we are at 11 and two right now. And so we got one more thing to get done. And, and I've never looked more forward to a vacation than I am looking forward to, to this one. What are you going to do for vacation? Um, I, we're going to go see a Bruno Mars concert in Vegas, see my two older boys uh, that I adopted uh, and, uh, and their wives. And then uh, we're going to go to Cabo and spend a few days trying to put our feet in the water and put the phone down. And But still got a little more work to do before I head out of here. Thank you, Coach. Appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, next question to Arnie. Sorry. Um, yeah, I just was, was curious now that you've had him in the gym for a while, any, uh, any big surprises, uh, especially on the court, what some guys maybe are doing that you didn't know or, uh, um, or just the group as a team? Uh, Taj Manning has probably been the biggest surprise. Um, he is probably he is an extremely hard worker and um that 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 has like stood out and uh and i mean just his competitiveness and toughness has, has stood out and because he spends so much time in the gym his his shot making ability is is growing and in fact he hit the the game winner on the last game today uh rose up and knocked it down like a champ and very, very proud of him. How much did you know about him going in since he was actually when originally had signed previously? You know, I didn't know a lot about him. Uh, I called his high school coach who um, I'd known before. And, uh, you know, Jeremy Sohan had gone to school at Lalamere for a year. And, and that coach had coached a lot of really good players and, you know, asked him about Taj. He gave me his thoughts on him. Um, I shared with Todd what I kind of expected of him uh, moving forward, and he went back to school and and he did the things that I that I asked him to do. We're going back, and then he showed up here in the summer, and he's just he's a very competitive kid and uh, and just a terrific young man, and and he can sing. I didn't know that, so that's I mean, man, that's, that Tevin Campbell singing was really good the other night. Thanks. Uh, next question to Derek Young. Hey, Coach. Uh, just uh, were you able to assemble your coaching staff perfectly the way that you wanted? It seemed like you got all your first choices. Um, I, I got the right guys. You know, sometimes the people that we think are our first choices or even the players we think are our first choices, um, when you look back on it in hindsight, they, 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 you know, they weren't the best choices. And I believe that I've got the best choices with me right now. And the most recent announcement was Rodney Perry. Just what does he provide to your program that you attracted you so much to him? Uh, he's, he's a winner. You know, he's a winner and he's a really good human being. Right. I mean, just, just a terrific man. And uh, he's the kind of guy that I would want my son to play for. And so I'm, I'm, I'm ecstatic about him being here and looking forward to what he brings to the table. And as a first time head coach, what have you learned the most from your players so far in these few months that you've been on the job? From my players. Mm. Man, that is a, that's a really good question. You know what I, I've learned? I, I'm learning that, um, not everyone is as intentional as our staff is about spending quality time with guys and getting to know them. 
away from the basketball court as we have been. And I've been surprised by how surprised they've been about it. Thanks, Coach. Enjoy your vacation. Thank you. Uh, next question to Tim Everson. Hey, Coach. Hey, how, uh, with, with, with Mark Eason ish, what's kind of the biggest step that you've seen them take on the court? Obviously, you got to see them play as, as a junior and a sophomore last year, but as far as basketball wise, how have they elevated their game? Well, for Keith, it's his emotional intelligence and um, being able to control. He's an extremely competitive kid, and I love that about him. Um, but there are two two guys that can't have a bad day or, or lose their minds, and that's the head coach and the point guard. And um, he is learning how to, um, like, like, lower it without redlining it. And that's and how to communicate with his teammates to get the most out of them. And so, so that's going to be real important for him. For Ish, it's um, working, right? Like he thought he was a hard worker until I started laying out some things for him to do. And he thanked me the other day. He said, coach, you know, I've never, you know, done any of the things that you're as that you've had. And he, and he said, he thought he was a good, a hard worker, but he'd never done some of the things. And so he was thankful for, you know, the push and for believing in him. So. And then what, what have you liked best that you, that you've seen out of Naquan Tomlin since he arrived on campus? Man, he is competitive and like, he doesn't know how good he's, he can be. And, uh, but he is, he is super competitive and really talented. And man, I, I look forward to just um, fanning his confidence so that like, I, I want him to feel like he's the best player in America. Cause he, you know I mean? He's got that kind of a talent. Thanks Jerome, enjoy Cabo. Thank you. Uh, next question back to Kellis. Uh, yeah, two more, for, two more here for you coach. Um, do you know what kind of style you wanna play with this group just yet? <laughs> uh, no, no, not not yet, not yet. And um, I think when we finish assembling the ro roster, um, we're, we're going to guard you. We're going to guard and we're going to rebound. Other than that, I'm not real sure. Like if you're talking about the offensive end of things, uh, not real sure uh, about that yet. Um, but but we're going to defend and we're going to rebound. Do these guys fit at all the mold, the player that you had at Baylor, you feel like? Um, the, you know, it's not a, a fit, a physical fit, right. That I was looking for is more of a mental fit, uh, you know, a mindset, uh, a competitiveness, and they definitely fit that. Okay. And uh, one more for you. I know this summer you said there were some things that surprised you about, you know, being a head coach for the first time. Um, you had to call Scott Drew and talk about it a little bit. Do you feel more like a head coach now? Do you feel like you've got uh, more of a hang of it? Mm, you know, I, I feel like I got six head coaches on my staff and they are guys that I can like really bounce things off of. And, um, you know, just, so there, there's not a, I don't know what a head coach feels like. I understand that I have the responsibility. Like if we lose, it's my fault. I understand that. And so, and I'm, I'm keenly aware of that, but everything else, it's us moving together, doing it together kind of thing. And I, and I like that. I like that about these guys. Thanks, Jerome. Derek, did you have something else? I'm sorry, your hand was up. And... Okay. Uh, go ahead, Arnie, sorry. There you yep. go. Um, kind of uh, piggybacking off what uh, Derek was asking, I think, earlier about being a head coach, uh, relating to players, is that any different as a head coach? Do you have to, do you have to that any differently? Uh, just because you're maybe not where maybe before you might've been sort of a, a go between or a, a buffer and now you're the, the man. No, nah, I was, I was never a buffer at Baylor and uh, coach allowed me to, you know, I mean, you know, I, I got to be me and the 
I mean, Scott was very intentional in his coaching and, and um, so no, the, the relationship, like not with, with this group, it doesn't feel any different, you know, so. Arnie, did you have anything else? Okay. Uh, Michael Goins, back to you. Yeah, coach, just one more from me. What kind of uh, feedback have you gotten from off-season conditioning? Uh, from the players, from the strength coach? Uh, from the strength coach, I think, is what I'd be looking for. Okay. Um, well, we've had multiple guys who have gained 10 plus pounds of muscle, um, which is what we, we wanted to do as a focus. Um, and the guys look good. I mean, they, they look, they look good. They're stronger. They're, they're, they're doing all the things, you know, that we want them to do. And, and so I, I, I feel good about what we've done these eight weeks. I appreciate your time. Thank you. Other questions for coach before we let him go? Ja oh, Jackson, go ahead. I'm sorry, Jackson Snyder. Hey, coach, I saw a picture on social media of you and coach Kleiman maybe earlier today. I was just curious if maybe he had given you any wisdom now that he's been around for a couple of years and maybe what kind of a relationship you guys might have developed so far in your time in Manhattan. Man, I, I absolutely love Coach Kleiman. Coach Kleiman and Coach Rule are good friends. And I was a big fan of uh, Matt Rule and attended a lot of his practices. Coach Kleiman invited me uh, to come to practice anytime I want to. And I'm a big college football fan. So I was able to be out there today and, and watch some of it for a few minutes. And uh, Coach has just been great about, um, you know, just tell me anything that I needed he's willing to help me with. Thanks, Coach. Enjoy vacation. Thank you. Okay. Make sure. Right. Any other questions for Coach before we let him go? Going once, going twice. Okay. Thank you, Coach. I appreciate the time. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.